Hello and welcome to the first race of the Fantastic Marble Race Cup. I'm Flame Vapor. And I'm incredibly overrated marble racer, Austin Eastwood. He's our co-commentator for today. In these first three qualifying races, red, orange, yellow, green, cyan, blue, purple, magenta, brown, navy, pink, black, white, gray, forest, and tan will race each other to try to get into the top eight in each race. The top eight of each race will receive one point for the qualifiers. The top eight competitors after three qualifying rounds with the most points, they will move on to the A division while all the other marbles will have to settle for the B division. Now, just because you make it into the A division doesn't mean you're guaranteed to win or vice versa. After three races for both divisions, the A League and B League will have marbles switch between them. The bottom two of the A and the top two of the B will switch places. Then, after exactly seven races occur, the bottom two racers in the B Division will be cut from the competition, and the bottom two racers of the A Division will have to move down to the B Division. Uh, following that, after nine races, the best three from each division will move on to the semifinals, and the top three from there will move on to the finals. So, Austin, who do you think is going to win? Um, well, I definitely think there is a 99.3% chance Navy will win, but I'm not biased. Remember that, okay? Sounds good. Seems the marbles are ready, so let's go. And they are off. Why don't you tell us about this course? Well, the reason why it's called the lightning circuit is because you need to be lightning fast. If you slow down past a certain point, you will be teleported back to the start of the circuit you are attempting. Tan and navy, as well as black, are in the second circuit. And many follow. You don't want to be stuck in that first one for too long. Navy has a lead, but... Leads don't really matter in this, because you can restart at the drop of a hat. I didn't think the marbles were wearing hats. Well, maybe they do. You don't know. Navy's getting close. Navy finishes! Woohoo! I'm not, I'm not biased. And Forrest finishes. It, it seems as though even the scoreboard is confused over who's named Green and who's named Forrest. But the lighter one is named Green, the darker one is named Forrest. It looks very similar to lime, but there is no lime in this channel. What is lime? That sounds like a fruit. It, I think it's like this urban legend that many Marble Race channels try to keep up. Tan's tempting makes it, followed... Oh, pink fails directly behind. There's orange, orange finishing. Is as well. Cyan. Three spots left. Everyone is in the second circuit now. Purple attempts fails. White finishes. Purple, purple fails again. <laughs> Gosh darn it, purple. That's They've got a sting. Failed like three times so far on the last ring. Blue and red seem to be close together. Red falls back, but blue dies. So does red. There's black on the inner ring. Opportunity for black, maybe? Ah. The marbles need to ride on the spinner. Otherwise, they will have to, they start falling back and lose their speed. And have to restart. If they don't ride the spinner or fly ahead of it, they will restart. Black goes again. Black makes it this time! 232.98 Only one point left up for grabs. Whoever places 8th. The rest will just be all equally losers. This is true. Doesn't matter the order as long as you are in the top 8. Magenta is in the inner ring, followed by green. Green restarts. Magenta makes it! 
Magenta does, in fact, make it. And Magenta was the last one to get to the second circuit, so that's very impressive. Yes. So Magenta, will, along with all the other top eight finishers, will get one point in the qualifiers uh, to see who moves on to Division A and B. What an exciting race. Navy won the race. Ha <laughs> ha! Followed by Forest and Tan with Orange, Cyan, White, Black, and Magenta all scoring points. Yes, they did. And I think it's worth noting that Magenta, while in last, they really had great determination to because they were in last for a while, and then they came back to get eighth, and so they scored a point, and it doesn't even matter that they were in last, and that just shows how... What, what an effort is what I'm trying to say. Very impressive. Very true. But there is the case to be made. It might have just been pure dumb luck. We need to see maybe the next race to see if Magenta can continue to perform at such a level or if they'll fall down. Right. It's, we're, it's yet to see whether Magenta is just average this time or if they're clutch. I would like to mention that Purple, who did not score any points, actually made it to the final ring of the circuit three times but failed each one it, it it really breaks your heart because you know purple has trained so hard for this tournament i mean maybe harder than anyone else and just it's not getting results so far now ten ten did pretty good leading the marbles from the beginning and placing third overall yep now i mean what could be the cause for tan to be so good i mean sure tan wasn't as good as say navy I'm not biased, though. But Tan did really well, along with, you know, the other top three on the podium, Navy and Forrest. Tan, right up there with the rest of them. And I, I just, what could be the cause for such talent? I don't know. I'm not sure. Tan was one of the four marbles who were, who signed up late for the tournament, along mm -hmm. with uh, Forrest, who also got in. The other two marbles, yeah. they... Unfortunately, will not be able to participate, but maybe Tan here is trying to prove that right. they are worthy of this spot in the tournament, that them being chosen was not a bad decision. Right. The other two are in reserves in case of an injury, though. Indeed. Anyways, I believe that is all the time we have for today. I'll see you next time when we do see qualifying ya. race number two.